Okay, so now we finished carving the block. Mm -hmm. So we want to print it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what shall we do? Um, put the ink on. All right, so let's put the ink on the roller. So if you don't have the printing press, you can do this at home very easily. Instead of using a printing press, you can get a roller and then get a really nice thin layer of ink on the roller, spread it thinly across the surface of the image that you just carved. Put the ink all over, but not too much though, because if you have too much, then it gets really messy. So, and I usually do two directions. Do you know why? When you do that, here, do this. So you can evenly cover all the areas. Good, and how about down here? Yeah, good job. Okay, and then here is a Japanese rice paper. It's made of kozo fiber, so it's really nice and strong. Okay, let's put this over carefully. Good, and then the spoon, you can use wooden spoon or metal spoon. And you're going to now make sure it doesn't move. A little bit of pressure so it doesn't move. And then you can start burnishing. The design's coming up. That's right. Do you think you can do it by yourself a little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay, give it a try. So if you're not sure, you can peek. Do you want to see how it's looking? What do you think? Well, this area we need all the way. I think we need to put pressure all the way up and down. Oh, you know what? It might make it easier for you and go back and forth, right and left. Yeah. After a good amount of pressure is put onto all the areas, then you take off the paper. Ooh, that came out really nice. What do you think? I like it. Okay. So for people who want to try to make prints uh, with multiple color blocks, um, and then this is actually the question I always get from many people, um, is there is there is a way to do it at home also. And at this point, I'm putting this like a paper guide on both sides. And that allows for the paper to be always at the same place. And then the image comes out. And then I use this printed one and put this image, a reversed image, onto the block. And then put it exactly the same place at this corner. And then glue it on. And then with the Japanese paper, actually you can pour a little bit of oil and that makes it really easy to see where you're going to be carving for the next block you have to carve. So let's just say we are going to carve the red uh, body color for this bird. I would start coming away around it leaving the body to be red. So it has to be raised and then you're going to carve the rest of it all out like this. And then you continue to do that and then you end up with a relief image of the bird. Now you do not want to put too much ink because it makes the work really messy. And then put the paper exactly where it's supposed to go. And start rubbing. Yep. And make sure to get all the corners. And then. Now you can see the red is nicely transferred and you have two color block print.